Should more Indiana veterans get access to the Indiana Military Family Relief Fund? Some people are at odds over whether veterans who were not honorably discharged should receive that money. Fox 59's Kayla Sullivan reports some are also worried about using the fund for other expenses too. This bill is about growth. Some say it takes money to make money. It's about being able to manage that growth. The Indiana Department of Veterans Affairs wants to use 15% of the Military Family Relief Fund to pay off administrative costs and expand the program. Some see it as a $270,000 cut from veterans. Others see it as an opportunity to reach more. Yes, it is possible to find it somewhere else in the budget, but you and I both know it in a budget year, tax dollars can only go so far. The fund comes from donations as well as specialty license plates. It's designed to help honorably discharged Hoosier veterans. Now lawmakers are considering expanding the list. And the commission will determine which ones will meet the qualification and the commission has no intent of having violent offenders or uh, you know those type of people to, to be able to get a benefit. It's designed for those who may have developed mental health or substance abuse issues in the military and were not honorably discharged as a result. Still, not everyone agrees this should be opened up to them. It means a lot to veterans across this state that we were able to wear that uniform and maintain those standards. And so I would ask this committee to not lower the standards in Indiana. The Indiana Department of Veterans Affairs says this fund isn't just about giving $2,500 to those who qualify. It is actually much more about uh, what we can do for that veteran, how we understand their needs, and how we connect them with services. And the department believes this legislation would help accomplish that. Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News. The committee heard hours of testimony today, but will vote on the bill at another time.